I'm not going to get overhyped with a one summer league performance. Skip, he looked good. He has an NBA body right now. He put the ball on the floor, got to the got to the basket. Uh, the jump shot was falling for him. He got a couple of and ones. He looked really good. I love Jabari Smith, Skip. He's like silky smooth. He's like so effortless. He's like he's just gliding. Um, I watched him a couple of times early. They switched. They put him in the pick. He drops his hip and he slides side to side against the guard. So these two guys look very, very good last night. But Skip, it's one game and it's summer league game. I still, uh, uh, I, I still want to see more. But I love, I, I, I'm in, I, I, I love Ben Carroll. I watched him at Duke, and I wasn't in love with him. But I like what I saw last night. I understand it's only one game, but Skip, I like, like I said, he has that NBA body right now. He's ready to go play basketball right now. And a lot of times, Skip, you don't get an opportunity to see these guys showcase because the other guys that are, like, on two-way contracts or they're undrafted, mm -hmm. I need to show my stuff. Bro, you going to be on the team. You're the number one pick. You're the third pick. And the guards, they out there trying to dance, trying to show that I can play in the NBA also. Mm -hmm. But I did see enough from these two guys, Skip. They look good. They look legit. Uh, but I'm not going to get overhyped with, with, with one performance in a summer league game. Mm -hmm. I still want to see these guys. And I like the fact they were matched up against each other, Skip. But uh, Ben Carroll looked good. Uh, Smith uh, uh, looked good. And um, I like what I say. I think, I think the NBA is going to be in good hand with these two guys. Mm. Okay. I reiterate what you just said. Just one summer league game. In fact, each of their only first summer league game. Right. And these kids have not played any five-on-five five for a couple of months. Right. So you got to give them some Yeah, give them, give them a break. Give yeah. A little yeah. break here. But I do think... There are some lasting takeaways from last night. With Boncaro, he's only six months older than Jabari, but he plays and looks five years older <laughs> to me, right? <laughs> yeah. He looks like he's a pro to yeah. me. Looks like he's been playing in the league for five uh -huh. years, like, and he's out there with the kids playing summer league, mm -hmm. right? His motor runs a lot hotter, quicker than Jabari's. Yes. Jabari, to your point, is a smooth operator. He it reminded me a little bit of, of vintage Harrison Barnes back in the day because mm -hmm. he, he was so gifted and so smooth, but but it's it, he doesn't, like Harrison at his best, he, he could have big explosion big, uh, yeah. games, but it, it might run cooler, you mm -hmm. know, run where, where he, he doesn't he doesn't come out in attack mode every single game. No. The way... Ben Carroll from the start. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was looking to get buckets. He, he just said, I want this. <laughs> yeah. and, and according to the ESPN commentators, and I think even his coach said that before the game, he said, I, I want to guard Jabari. And he did guard him. Right. And he did a pretty good job right. on him. If we could see the one play where I thought that Jabari had a step on him to the to the rim and he Tended caught to up. The backboard. And and I, I don't know if he got fingertips. He didn't get a block on the shot if we could see it. But he definitely altered it, and he definitely blew it up at the rim. He forced a miss at the rim, which is pretty – it's a chase down, basically. Right. I mean, he had, to, he had to rally. He had to close hard on right. it. Right. Okay? So I was impressed with that. Yeah. And then if we could see – I think we're going to see it again. But if we could also see the um, – here we go again – to the rim, and he gets there, and at least – here's the three. Right away, he just says, give me the ball, boom. <clears throat> and then – he does this it again. The one, this was the, the one that's on yeah, Jabari. Yeah, the and step back. Boom. Okay, those are first quarter threes where you're just saying, I, I'm going to show you I'm better than you are. Yeah, right? he was up for the challenge. I, I'm going to live up to the shock that I went first over you because right. most people thought, except some people in Vegas, I don't know what that you was You can tell, Skip, you can tell he went into this game yeah. saying, I want to show everybody why I was the number one overall pick. Correct. And you weren't. Okay. That was his mindset. You see the way he came out and attacked? Yes, but he had a, there was also a nice play with Jabari Smith. He put the ball, because he can shoot the ball. So you hug up on him so he doesn't get the shot off. He puts it between his legs, goes, and he lays it up with the left hand. He had he one of those early sweet. in the game. He tried to get that, uh, that second one that uh, Ben Carroll challenged. I like both guys, Skip, but I, I agree with you right now. I was a little bit more, and I, it's, I understand there's only one game, but I was a little bit more impressed with Ben Carroll because, like you said, he came out from the start. He was aggressive. He was like, he took this game personal. He took it personal. He played like it was personal. And I understand it's a summer league game, but that's not the way he approached it. And yet, to your point also, 
I watched him a lot at Duke, and I didn't even see any of no, that. No, 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 right? no, no, no. And, and you wonder, is it back to the, the old Jordan cliche about the only man who could stop Michael Jordan was right. Dean Smith, his coach, obviously, right. at Carolina, was right. it Coach K? Right. I, I don't know, because I couldn't see any of this, Why? which is why I think we were all surprised to the point of being shocked. He went one right. over Jabari? Really? Right. Okay. And I think the thing is, Skip, is that when you're at Duke and you got all these other, because everybody in the starting lineup is a five-star. Yep. And, and Coach K is like, how do I divvy up? Because, yeah, I got B.I. one year, and I got Jason Tatum one year, and I got Zion, but I also got Barrett, and I also got this guy, and I got that guy. So I can't just say, well, you, since you're a five-star and I want you, you get all the shots. He's got to find a way to divvy it up, kind of yep. like in Kentucky. Yep. When they had that screen, when Coach Cal had 15 over a six-year span, he had 15, 16, five-stars. We got to divvy up the minutes. Well, now he comes in, he's the number one. He's going to get the shots. And he took it upon himself. I'm the best player. I, he looked at it like I'm the best player on the court tonight. Let me show you why. Okay. So I saw two very good NBA players last night. I didn't see superstars, right? Yeah, I, 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 I can't see it. Let I, me ask I you a question. But I tell you what I did. I, I feel more comfortable with him, Bancaro, and Smith than I still do Chet. Okay. And by the way, Chet is actually six months older than Bancaro and a year older. older than Jabari. Right. And now we have the most fascinating young clash going on right now because Jabari fell right into Sam Presti's Oklahoma City lap. Right. Uh, wait a second. They took bank. We get Jabari Smith? Yeah. And he did not have, I told you the next day, that card went up to the commissioner mm -hmm. in about 20 seconds because they had locked in on Chet Holmgren. And clearly Sam Presti is sending you a message. Yes. We're sorry, but we think he's going to do more at a higher level, like a literal higher level, right. than, than Jabari will because they had him. Right. And Houston's like, thank you, God. We we got Jabari Smith right. at three? But the, really? Smith, the Smith kid, Skip, the way he can move laterally at that size and to be able to switch no, on I, five I, positions. I buy it. I, I think that's going to be. he is a sweet shooter, and I yeah, do not yeah, doubt yeah, that. I will yeah. take that to my bank. Yeah. That will, he's going to make a bunch of NBA jump shots before he is finished. Yep. And by the way, he's longer than Boncaro is. Right. He, he just, you, you can just see, he's just got length to him. But Skip, the thing is that's upsetting. These guys be reclassifying. It's like, well, this guy's the number one recruit. Well, let me reclassify the, the 2019 mm -hmm. so I can be the number one recruit because if I go out in 2018, they just reclassify, reclassify. Uh, I mean, it's, it's become so commercialized now. It's not even about competition. Everybody just run into these top academies so they can play with the other guys. Okay. But going forward, and, and I'm going to say it's going to be a fascinating and flashpoint topic on this show, yep. it's going to be Chet versus Jabari. Right. Because you, you'll start to see, it may take half a year, it may take the whole rookie year, but you'll start to see a pattern of, wait a second, either Jabari's way better or the things that Chet can do are so special, shot blocking or right. shooting threes at seven foot one. Right. If he can make, I don't know, 35, 38% of his threes going forward and he shoots a good number of them, then you might start to say, wait a second, Presti was right about it. The thing it. I like about this, Skip, is that they're very similar in size, so there's a gr great chance that they're going to guard each other. These two. The, yeah. With, the, with yeah. these two. But not Chet. Yeah. Uh, 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 what you call him, go guard Chet? Because they got two seven-footers out there at uh, OK, uh, OKC, Skip. The other kid, I can't pronounce his name. He's from uh, he's from Europe. But they got they got two seven-footers. Well, he's like 7'5". <laughs> yeah. So I believe I believe these guys will guard each other because they play they're, very... They're, they're calling them the thin towers. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, good wind going to blow yeah. both of those guys yes, over. Correct. So the, the point is somebody's going to be really right about this and somebody's going to be really wrong. And I don't think the clash is going to be between... Jabari and Boncaro, Carol. it's going to be between Chet and both of them. Right. So it's Chet, Chet is now, it, it, it's going to be 2v1 to see who rises above this class. Going to be very interesting. Yep. Houston's going to be able to get up and down because they're young and talented. They got Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr. and Kenya Martin Jr. It's going to be fun to watch. Yeah. I will be watching them yes. a lot. Indeed. The moment's certainly not too big for Boncaro, guys. I thought his court vision was excellent, and he certainly made an impact on both sides of the ball. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on 